Yashio Kobayashi is a little kid watching his father care for his sick and bedridden mother. But at some point, his father started to blame him for his mother's sickness and began to do all of the bad things to him. His mother's health never recovered, and his father made a decision. He's going to end Kobayashi's life. But his mother somehow managed to get up from bed and stood in front of Kobayashi, taking the knife swing for herself. As a result, the trauma triggered Kobayashi's hidden powers, destroying everything around him, even his father. We fast forward to a few years later, when Kobayashi is now an orphan 14-year-old boy. He's pretty much homeless and only wishes for his final day on earth. He tried several ways on curse, as that power doesn't allow him to die. It creates a force field around him to destroy everything that gets near and protects his life. Still, the Hanasaki doesn't give up and manages to follow him around. In the end, Kobayashi gets tired of running and stops to catch his breath. He warns Hanasaki that he'll die if he gets close to him. He then half by Kobayashi's mysterious power. Hanasaki is impressed and starts questioning about it, but Kobayashi answers that even he doesn't know what's happening, nor how to control it. After a short conversation, Hanasaki runs off and Kobayashi notices that the boy left his wallet. He tries to follow Hanasaki to return it, only to find him doing a rescue mission inside a blazing building. He walks through the fire and ashes, but doesn't see anyone and thinks that Hanasaki starts to cry in fear and Hanasaki wakes up and starts to work with the man to free themselves and escape. Outside, some random explosion occurs and Kobayashi gets a cut on his hand, and quickly starts to wonder about the new possibilities to accomplish his goal. Hanasaki notices it and decides to strike a deal with Kobayashi. If Kobayashi becomes a member of the Boy Detectives Club, Hanasaki will find a way to end his life. Despite his reluctance, Kobayashi agrees. He finds out that the Boy Detectives Club is a private investigation firm founded by Kagoro Aikchai. Hanasaki is a member along with Ryo Inao, an invalid, and Makoto Noro, an expert in computers and security systems. The club deals with small and big cases, mostly working with the police through Nakamura Now. In the next day, Kobayashi is in an abandoned building, trying to eat a bowl of food, but his power destroys the bowl proving that even his power can sometimes negate him from basic necessities. He tries to pick the Yudon noodles up from the ground and Hanasaki suddenly appears telling him to join on their first case. Kobayashi ends up following him but in the end, he's way more focused on trying to get something to eat. Hanasaki gets confused and asks why he wants to eat if he desires to die. Kobayashi reveals that his weird power forces him to eat if his stomach is empty. It will suck anything around him to inside his stomach, be it real food, bugs, and sometimes even mouses. Hanasaki promises he will get him so real food as soon as they finish their mission and finally move on with their case. A woman went to the agency to ask them to monitor her boyfriend who has threatened her life. But it turns out, this is just a cover story for the lady's real intentions. She wants to poison a doctor through food catering which her boyfriend will deliver. The two boys find this out when the Kobayashi eats the food catered during that doctor's program. But he spits it out immediately because his power identified it as poison. They start to run trying to find her and quickly manage to arrest the woman. Another instance of his power is when they took their second case, where many middle-aged men have been taken in by a private organization. The two carelessly infiltrate the organization's headquarters, where the missing men are brought in. These men are useless in society and mostly rely on their parents because they don't want to work. As the two explore further, they discover the organization's true nature. The building is where an illegal organ harvesting organization is stationed. Hanasaki tells Kobayashi to run towards the control room, get some evidence and escape but they get themselves surrounded by guards who start to shoot. Kobayashi's force field activates in and stops all the bullets, and even deflects them back. He then runs to get the evidence and jumps down from the building, breaking its wall. In the aftermath, all adults are returned to their families, and the perpetrators are arrested. Kobayashi's next mission is to rescue a hostage captured by 20 faces, a villain that has eluded the police for years and recently released rogue robots on the city streets. Those are the same robots that exploded when Kobayashi's hand was injured upon meeting Hanasaki. He gets teamed up with Inao, who's been always against him joining the boys' detective club, because he thinks Kobayashi is too dangerous. They only know the hostage was taken to the sewers because he used his eye blinks to send a message using Morse code. Furthermore, they must save him before 9pm, otherwise he will be killed. 
the new duo head to the sewers, where he now shows his confidence that he's following the right route to find the hostage. But soon, Kobayashi tells him otherwise. He's been homeless since his parents' death, and he used to walk through the sewers, which quickly explains that Inao's map is a fake one. On their way, Inao quickly tells Kobayashi to stop and hide, while taking out an umbrella-like gadget that allows them to be invisible. As soon as they get invisible, some hooligans patrolling show up and walk by them. One of the hooligans throws something away near Kobayashi and his power kicks in, slicing it in half. Inao and he are discovered as a result, and Inao starts to ride his wheelchair while trying to knock the guys down, but in the end, he gets knocked out with a pipe. The hooligans close the underground sewers, forcing Inao and Kobayashi to get stuck inside. Kobayashi reveals to Inao when he awakens that the men locked them in the underground. Given that it was already late, Inao asks why Kobayashi didn't flee. Kobayashi stated that he only needed to burst through the wall. But even after three attempts, the mist force failed to knock down the wall. Suddenly, water starts to flow quickly throughout the structure. Inao orders Kobayashi to flee first and inform everyone about the fake map after the room fills with water. Kobayashi starts to ponder when he considers Inao's predicament but gives up when Inao says he will seek out an alternative. And Kobayashi starts climbing the ladder to the upper level. There he meets Hanasaki and Katsuda, and tells them that Inao is still trapped underneath. Hanasaki leaves the tired Kobayashi on the side to let him sleep, and tells Katsuda to help Inao. Everyone else is trying to get 20 faces but he manages to escape with the hostage in a jet ski. Hanasaki and Aikchai try to chase 20 faces and the hooligans in their bike. Along the sewer route, they run into Kobayashi, who is still asleep and accidentally falls into the water. The first jet ski crashes into Kobayashi's force field, splitting it in two and sending the hooligans flying. Hanasaki takes this moment to grab the hostage from the distracted 20 faces. In the end, Aikshai reveals that 20 faces use the hostage as bait to take them down with the police. A few days have passed and Kobayashi thinks he's not getting any progress with his life. Despite being a member of the club, he only gets to do missions, while Hanasaki tries to find a way to end his suffering. But Kobayashi has already tried every possible way that Hanasaki can think of. In the end, Hanasaki invites him to take six cases per day. He explains that Kobayashi's powers make him somehow weak every time he saves someone. Just like they first met, he tried to save Hanasaki from the explosion and got his hand injured. Therefore, he thinks that if Kobayashi manages to save a certain amount of people, his powers may reach a level where he may get seriously wounded and finally accomplish his goal. Still a bit reluctant, Kobayashi accepts as he hopes that Hanasaki's plan work. But at the end of the day, doing six cases in a day did nothing to Kobayashi. They only did simple cases all day, none of them to save people, and none of them were even close to injuring Kobayashi. In the end, the only thing he got from it was a whole level of annoyance and a surprise birthday party. A few days later, the duo are heading back to the club to get a new case, but end up seeing an announcement flashing on the billboards in the city. Hanasaki recognizes his brother as the one doing the announcement. The brother says that the Kakoragayaka housing complex is now a sovereign country independent from Japan. Any trespassers will be given a warning shot using their high-tech armory, and then killed if they proceed to trespass further. Hanasaki runs to the club and asks for help to meet his long-lost brother, but everyone rejects to help him. Hanasaki leaves, and the rest of the club ask Kobayashi to open a mysterious package they recently received. They think it could be a trap, a bomb or something else even more dangerous. But it's only a toy robot with a voice recorder inside. It starts to play a message sent by 20 faces about their next confrontation. But Aikchai smashes it on the floor. He then asks Kobayashi to keep an eye on Hanasaki, because he suspects the latter will sneak out of the building to meet his brother, becoming 20 faces' new target. Kobayashi sees Hanasaki try to escape, but he doesn't stop him. He simply scolds and then informs the team, who decide to wait for the right moment. They later receive a call and Aikchai decides to bring everyone to get Hanasaki back. They use Hanasaki's tracker and find out he's inside the Kororageaka housing complex and make a plan to infiltrate it. Aikchai gives Kobayashi the job to get inside and clear the way, as his power will attract the enemy's attention. He starts walking toward the complex destroying its protection walls and ignores everyone who's trying to shoot him. Because of it, they quickly arrest all culprits including Hanasaki's brother. They all went to the police station afterward, where they waited for Hanasaki who was getting questioned by the police. Inao reveals that 20 Faces has something to do with this incident. 
as he was the one who enabled Hanasaki's brother and his foster mother to barricade themselves inside the complex. Hanasaki gets mad because Aikchai knew about his brother location and leaves. Everyone else gets back to the office and find Hanasaki packing his things, explaining he wants to quit. His emotions suddenly outburst, claiming that Kobayashi is just a monster who can't die, and that he was toying with him this whole time, and experimenting his powers while running away. Kobayashi couldn't care less about what Hanasaki was saying and decided to head to bed. Soon later, their worst fears are confirmed when they receive another toy soldier from 20 Faces. This time, it shows a holographic image of Hanasaki bound by strings. 20 Faces taunts them to find him or else something will happen to Hanasaki. Aikchai immediately runs into action with the remaining members. They discover that 20 Faces is holding Hanasaki hostage inside a mall. As they arrive, they can hear gunshots coming from inside the building. At that point, Kobayashi barges in and destroys the rogue security robots with his protective sphere. Kobayashi looks for Aikchai and Hanasaki who were already inside the building, and starts running around while several robots shoot at him, until he finally takes it down and finds Hanasaki, Aikchai and 20 faces on the upper floor. Kobayashi starts approaching Hanasaki, complaining that he's behaving like a stupid and weak little kid. But suddenly, every hostage inside starts to point their guns at the members of their group. They quickly realize that 20 faces brainwashed every hostage inside, who then proposes for Aikchai to kill Hanasaki. He does so, 20 faces will free every hostage inside the building. Hanasaki suddenly moves forward and starts to beg Aikchai to end his misery, requesting that he wants to die. Kobayashi steps in and tells him to stop stealing his lines, as nobody wants his life to end as he does. But suddenly, Hanasaki breaks the glass floor and points it at his throat while moving backward. Hanasaki suddenly jumps down from the top floor into the indoor fountain with tears in his eyes, forcing Kobayashi to jump after him and use his powers to push Hanasaki into the deepest part of the fountain. Kobayashi then stands up and opens a jar, pouring down the liquid into the fountain. The liquid quickly turns into a vapor that puts everyone around to sleep, ending the brainwashing effects. In the aftermath of the events, everyone is saved but 20 faces manage to escape. Kobayashi starts to walk away and Hanasaki quickly chases him to apologize, but Kobayashi only remembers about their promise, where Hanasaki will find a way to make him have his final breath. Watch this next video. See you on the next one.